The reason that I, I actually moved away from digital was this feeling that some programmer in Japan or some other part of the world was making the picture for me. You busted a whole bunch of myths for me. You know, envision dark room, red light, all this kind of stuff, but to be able to do it in your kitchen, it's, uh, it's cool. It really is a, a, an incredibly organic process where you control the image from its inception and then see it right through to the, to the end, and I, and I really love that. And I think I'll even be making a stab at 8x10. It's a combo 8x10. Toyo uh, 45 CF. A little bit lighter than uh, certainly Steven's 8x10. Not as easy as 4x5. That's twice the effort, but double the pleasure. But I, I sort of still felt like a bit like a pack mule, carrying uh, you know a couple of lenses and film holders and stuff like that. But it's it's worth it in in the end. We went to digital, and we realized that if you live in the computer world only, that the computer screen doesn't tell you the whole truth. So we decided to start printing, and that opened up our eyes to what you see on the screen is not what you're really getting. Yeah. And if you want to print and print big, we said we're going to have to go to analog, at oh. least to learn how to do it. Uh, analog brings you a discipline to the digital that I think you can uh, get away from sometimes. If you can do analog well, it'll make you a better digital photographer. Uh, sort of a garden setting with these random Roman colonnades sort of here and there. It's very popular with wedding photographers. When they demolish old historic buildings in Toronto, sometimes the city says to remove interesting components of those buildings and just sort of throw them in this park. It was a very relaxing morning. Uh -huh. set, you know, to set up each shot, you were just thinking about your shot, you were thinking about, you know, composition, well, and also getting used to the picture being upside down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, it was good. Uh -huh. First time I've only taken four shots. I think I've uh, made a new shopping list. I am 23. We kind of started out digital. We're going uh, back to analog, so we're seeing the benefits of both sides. Don't be afraid of all the mistakes you're going to make. We had a couple slides today that uh, bled out completely, but if you're not making mistakes, then you're not trying. So uh, that's just part of the process. I was always anxious that uh, I wouldn't be able to get the film loaded properly and would ruin it all. And uh, I think this workshop has helped me really get over that anxiety. With this process, there's no doubt you're making the image. You are in charge and everything that goes wrong, you are responsible for and no one else. I'm developing 8x10 large format slide. So we're about two-thirds of the way through. We still got okay. one more chemical step to go. The color slide film process is very simple. Um, if you can do if you can do black and white developing, you can do color developing, either negative or uh, or positive. It's 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 just a recipe you follow. So right now in the tank, if we could open it. Um, we would have a positive image in here, and now I have to do a wash stage. This this little machine is a big water bath that keeps everything at the right temperature. The nice thing is it's because your tanks are they're rotating on their side. Um, you can use very very little chemicals. If someone has three or three hundred and fifty dollars kicking around they can get their hands on a press camera a crown or speed graphic and often they will be sold with a, a lens already to go and a couple of film holders so with that you're ready to shoot